Gospel of December 16, 2016, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept testimony from a human being, but I say this so that you may be saved. John was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform testify on my behalf, that the Father has sent me. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, it is good for us also to take a peek of the first reading, again from Messiah. The foreigners who joined themselves to the Lord, ministering to Him, loving the name of the Lord, and, and becoming His servants. All who keep the Sabbath free from profanation, and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain, and make joyful in my house of prayer. Let me start with this first reading, which is so beautiful. We need not be Abraham's sons by blood. That is, we don't need to be from the twelve uh, um, Israeli tribes. Because the new Israeli, the new people of God, are the ones who have been marked by the sign of the Lamb. That is, the ones who have believed and have been baptized. And thus the Lord says, Everyone who loves my name, I will take to my mountain. Now, let us just make ourselves clear for our, for our own sake, who this Jesus of Nazareth is. The Lord is talking to the Jews who want to rebuke him, who, do, who simply doubt him, that deny that he is anyone. The Lord says, you yourselves inquired the Baptist and he testified to the truth. Let us remember that the Baptist testified before everyone that the Messiah, the Lamb that takes away the scene of, of the world was Jesus of Nazareth. And the Lord says, I do not accept testimony from a human being. This is very interesting. Why? Because he is God. He is true God and, and true human. But he does not need the human testimony. Yet he says, I will use it, I will say this so that you may be saved. Because even those who despise and reject him, he wants to save. John was a burning and shining lamp. But I have testimony greater than John's. And what is that testimony? The works that the Father gave me to accomplish. Nicodemus, that principal Pharisee among the Jews, went to see Jesus Christ in the night. And he recognized to the Lord his mighty works. We recognize that you came from God, because no one can perform the deeds that you do if God is not with him. He was drive, driving out demons, giving sight back to the, to the blind, letting deaf hear, enabling the mute to speak, rising the death, something that no one had done before. I mean, one of the prophets might have done one or two such deeds by imploring the Lord, by imploring God. But none could have done it the way that the Lord revealed to us. And it is He, the Lord Almighty, among us. Now, it would be easy for us to say, well, all of those things happened in the past. They no longer happen. But we are lacking witnesses. For I can tell you freely today that I am such that I have been cleansed many times for my sins. That I have been granted the sight to see a little bit of the works of God in me, that I have been granted to hear His voice, to open my mouth to praise Him 
for I did not, I was not able to before. And I'm not saying that I was mute. All I'm saying is that I was oppressed by the devil, by the devils. I'm not saying either that I was possessed. But certainly the Lord has driven away from me a couple of demons that used to drive me to do crazy things. Stupid things as many people do. But I'd like to ask you, do look inside your own self, inside your own history, and see, try to discern the hand of God in your own life. And I'm sure that you will be able to look at it and be amazed and become a witness for what the Lord has done to you is great. Until we meet in heaven, God bless you all, brothers.